Thanks for joining us tonight on this Fuller Digital Solutions production of Woodbury Central Football. Tonight's matchup, we feature the Woodbury Central Wildcats and the West Monona Spartans. Both teams come into tonight's game with a record of 3-3, three and three, and both teams also post a 2-2 two and two record in district play. So tonight's game will have a little bit of a leg up at the end of the season. Number 22, Brady Wiggs. Number 27, Danny Kamarik. Number 51, Caden Royer. Number 52, Devin Monahan. Number 53, Eli Murray. Number 65, Miga Iska. And number 66, Sanda Eska Iska. And now the starting lineups for the Woodbury Central Wildcats. Number three, Bo Klingensmith. Number four, Jace Manker. Number six, Carter Lyle. Number seven, Caleb Lyle. Number 14, Kane Schmidt. Number 34, Max McGill. Number 57, Gage Heisel. Number 59, Ty Dennison. Number 62. We want to thank you again for joining us tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. We'll have the national anthem up here in just a couple moments. And after that, we'll get towards your starting lamps for tonight's matchup between, once again, Woodbury Central and the Spartans from West Monona. Please rise, remove your hats, and pay homage for our national anthem.
We're just a couple of moments away from kickoff here in Mobile tonight. We'll get you your starting lineups first for the Woodbury Central Wildcats. At quarterback number four, Jace Manker. At running back number 34, Max McGill. At wideout tonight, number six, Carter Blyle. Number three, Bo Klingensmith. Number seven, Caleb Blyle. And number 14, Kane Schmidt. On the offensive line tonight, number 57, Gage Heisel. Number 68, John Gretkin. At center, number 59, Ty Dennison. At right guard, number 65, Braden Sanford. And at right tackle, number 62, Carter Plone. That's your starting offense. We'll get to the defensive side now. At cornerback, number 21, Bracket Lock. At corner, number 3, Bo Klingensmith. On the D-line, number 15, Dallas Clunder. At defensive tackle, number 67, Warren Smith. At number 59 will be Ty Dennison. And at defensive end, number 16, Aiden O'Mara. At linebacker, number 22, Kyan Schultzen. At linebacker, number 57, Gage Heisel. At linebacker, number 34, Max McGill. And number 28, Trevor Davis. And starting in the back end at free safety, number 14, Kane Schmidt. Wildcats come into tonight's game posting a 3-3 three three record, coming off of a tough 19-18 defeat last week against Ridgeview, which was their homecoming contest. West Monona coming off a 53-0 defeat at the hands of Logan Magnolia. Final week of the regular season for both these teams. Posting similar records, this game has big implications of the final district standings in Class A District 10. Spartans win the toss tonight. They'll elect to take the ball to start this evening out. Kicking off for the Wildcats will be Henry Monk. Number one, Henry Monk to kick off for the Wildcats. It's taken down hard by the Wildcats. So poor starting field position for West Monona. Has had a little trouble on the return. Looks like a dangerous decision to pick that up for Klingensmith, but he makes something out of nothing. Return of about 10 yards, but the penalty is going to have the Wildcats start in West Monona field position. And this ball will be moved to the 45 yard line, and out comes. Quarterback number four, Jace Manker, to lead this Wildcat offense. They spread things out wide. In the backfield, number 34, Max McGill. Probably see a steady dose of him tonight as they head it off to him and fake the jet motion. And McGill is going to gain a couple yards around the edge. He's brought down by number eight, Arian White. Second and eight Wildcats from the 43. McGill comes into tonight's game, rushing for over 500 yards in the season, punched in the end zone five different times. He'll come out on this play for the same, same formation. That's Clinton Smith in motion. They fake it to him. Manker's going to throw. He's going to go deep. He's got a man out there. And that pass is just over the head of Carter Blyle. Blyle could have got his hands on that one. That probably would have been six points for the Wildcats, but except it brings up third and eight.
third and eight Wildcats from the 43. Trips to the near side. Here's Maker to play action. He's going to throw over the middle and is dropped by Klingensmith, as that would have been enough for the first down. And with a three and out for the West Minota defense as they force a punt. Back deep to return, number two, Brad Bellis. And that ball is going to go in the end zone for a touchback, and the Spartans will bring it out to the 20-yard line. First and 10 Spartans from the 20. Trips to the near side as that's Wiggs. And he'll take it right up the middle on the first play of this drive. And he fights his way for a gain of about five yards. Brady Wiggs, a six foot senior. Using that big body to gain about five or six yards in the play. Brings up a manageable second down for West Monona. Wiggs gets a snap. Same play. And Wiggs is going to fall forward for about five more yards. Should be enough for a West Monona first down. Tackle made by number 15, Dallas Clunder. Two plays this drive, two runs for number 22, Wiggs. And we got a late whistle here. It might be a procedure penalty on the Spartans. Looks like it is a false start, and that'll push him back five yards. That makes things first and 15 as the Spartans get behind the chains thanks to a penalty. They go in motion. Wiggs still looking for the call. Wiggs gets a snap. He's going to go right out the middle again. And not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a yard or two on the play. It looks like tonight they might lean quite a bit of their offense on the shoulders of number 22, Brady Wiggs. Second and 12 Spartans from their own 29-yard line. That's wide in motion. Wiggs going to take it again. He's looking to throw. He's got a man out there, and it is... Incomplete. Looked like he was going for Arian White, number eight. And that'll bring up a third and long for West Monona. Both teams still trying to find their groove a little bit early on in this one. With just over eight minutes to go in the first quarter. Brings up a third down and 12. Third and 12 Spartans, two receivers wide. Wiggs has, goes over the top and it's just incomplete. Uh, as number two, Brad Bellis, try to make a leaping grab. Throw is just a little bit behind him and that'll force another punt for the Spartans. Both teams early on in this one getting a little bit behind the chains. Resulting in a few punts to start this one out. Back deep is number three, Bo Klingensmith, for the Wildcats. Wiggs gets this one away. It's another low line drive from the 40-yard line. He's hit right away. Klingensmith 
gets cleaned up by number two, Brad Bellis. No return on that one. But nonetheless, the Wildcats do have solid field position to start their second drive of the night. Wildcats come out and start their drive at the 36 as they'll spread things out here. Three wide receivers to the right. They head off to McGill, and McGill doesn't have much up the middle. Maybe gained a half a yard on the play. That'll bring up about a second and nine for Woodbury Central. As they come out of the same formation as the previous play. Manker gets a snap. It's an option. He's going to pitch to McGill. And McGill is around the near side. And past the 40. He's to about the 44. Still going to bring up about a third and short two yards for the Wildcats. But a much more manageable position. Manker had to make a quick decision on that option play. And let's see here if they go back to number 34, McGill. Third and short, Wildcats. They've got trips to the right side of Manker. They toss it to McGill. He's got not a whole lot of room, but he does get a couple yards. That's about all he needed as he was met by a couple of Spartan defenders. Looks like number 52, Devin Monahan on the stop. It's going to bring up a first down for the Wildcats. First down of Wildcats. First down from the 46 yard line. Just about halfway down here with the first quarter. Still a scoreless game here in Moville as the offenses the offense have struggled to find their footing so far. Manker's going to keep it on this zone read, and he's going to power his way forward for a game of about six yards. Lowered his shoulder over a defender, and he's in West Monona territory. They're going to mark it at the 48 of West Monona. That'll bring up second and four at Woodbury Central. Line. Looks like they got the West Monona defense to bite on McGill that time, and Manker made the right decision to pull it and keep it himself. Manker gets the snap. He's going to hand it to McGill, and not a whole lot there again. Maybe a yard to the 46, and that should bring up another third and short opportunity for the Wildcats. Wildcats come out, spreading it out. McGill in the backfield, and it's a little bit of a decoy there, and Manker slips and falls around the 45-yard line. It should bring up fourth and short. So it's decision time now for Woodbury Central. Let's see if they leave their offense out there, and it looks like they will on this fourth and one. Our first fourth down opportunity tonight as Manker alongside McGill there in the shotgun. Manker's going to throw it on the slant. It is caught. Looks like it actually might be dropped. That looked like Bo Klingensmith who couldn't hang on after the big hit. Check that. That's number seven, Caleb Lyle. And it will be a turnover on downs for the Wildcats. Blyle had it in his hands for a second. Couldn't hang on. And they turned the ball over as West Monona's offense come trotting back out on the field. It's 
a big stop for the Spartan defense. Gave up 53 points last week in their loss to Logan Magnolia. And that's Wiggs in the backfield. And they're going to go right up the middle as they have been for the most part of this game. And they gain about five yards in the play. Look like number 59, Ty Dennison, there to stop him. Second and five Spartans from midfield. The interior of that D-line now to be aware now of what they've seen so far from Brady Wiggs. And they're going to go right up the middle again, and he's not going to get anywhere. Maybe a yard on the play. Bring up a third in about four or five. For the Spartans, and let's see if they can continue this drive and put a little pressure on that Woodbury Central defense. Third and four Spartans. Looks like in the pistol formation here is Wiggs, and he's going to fake the pitch, and that trick plays no one going nowhere. As the Wildcats weren't fooled at all, and that's going to bring up about a fourth and seven. And this should warrant a Spartan punt. Had some action going to the left. They faked the toss and tried to go back to the other side, and it was going nowhere. So on fourth and seven, it's Wiggs back deep to punt. And return again is number three, Bo Klingensmith. Wiggs, muffs the punt, he's going to take off, and he's going to be chased from behind, the ball is out, still alive, and I think Woodbury Central might have got on top of it, we'll, we'll see, and they do, big fumble recovery there for the Wildcats, and they take over at the 43 yard line, Wiggs couldn't hang on to the snap, he took things into his own matters and could not pick up the first downs, he was chased from behind by a couple Wildcats, and do a good job forcing that fumble. First turnover of the game for either team. Comes at the 236 mark here in the first quarter. First and ten Wildcats. First and ten Wildcats. Maker drops back to pass, throws over the middle. That is Caleb Blyle, and that pass was just deflected out of his hands before he could reel it in. Good coverage there by number one, Micah Farns, the 5'5 sophomore. That brings up second and ten Wildcats. Base formation with McGill to the right of Manker. Manker's going to look to throw it again. On a slant, and he was hit early, and we'll see if the flag comes out, and it does. As that pass is intended for number six, Carter Blyle. It was hit from behind just moments before that ball came into his hands. We'll likely get a defensive pass interference here. Defense. And that is the call. Pass interference on the defense. Will be a 15-yard penalty. That moves the ball into Spartan territory. Where it'll be first and 10 Wildcats from the 41. Manker yet to complete a pass on the night. He's had a couple drops. And that last throw, an interference on the Spartans. They come out in their base formation again. Manker wants to throw. He's going to go back to McGill, but nothing's there. And he's got time. Signaling for his man to go deep. He will go deep. Looking for, looks like that's Schmidt downfield. And they can't connect. Manker eluded a couple defenders on the play. Signaling for his wideout, number 14, Kane Schmidt, to go downfield. But they can't connect. And that will bring up second and 10 Wildcats.
Looked like that play was initially intended for number 34 of Max McGill, but the defense snuffed it out pretty well and forced Manker to improvise. Second time tonight, Woodbury Central's been in West Minota territory. Let's see if they can cash in on an opportunity here. Here's Manker. He's going to give inside to McGill. McGill makes a man miss. He's got some room to run. And he is near the first down, and he might have gotten it. Longest run of the night from McGill. will gain about 10 yards. Good for about 11 yards. Push down Wildcats on the 31 yard line. That'll bring up a Wildcat first down on the 40. Let's check that, the 31 yard line. Trips to the far side for Manker. McGill to his right. Manker is going to give to McGill up the middle, and he's not going to go anywhere. Gets stopped at about the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 on the 30 yard line. That'll bring up a second and nine opportunity for the Wildcats on the West Monona 30 yard line. Once again, it's trips formation to the far side. Manker wants to throw. He's going to go over the middle. That's caught. That's Klingensmith across the middle on the slant route. He gets inside the 10 yard line, and that should be a first and goal for Woodbury Central. Wildcat first down. First and goal, Wildcats from the nine yard line. Good pass from number four, Jace Manker to Klingensmith. That's its first completion of the night. Let's see if they use McGill here down inside the 10 yard line. Manker fakes the option. Manker goes up the middle. He lowers his shoulder and he is in for a Woodbury Central touchdown. Our first points of the evening comes from the home team, the Wildcats, as Jace Manker. Plows his way up the middle from nine yards out. Touchdown, Wildcats. Number one, Monk on to attend, attempt the extra point. It's a bad snap. Maker has to improvise. He's going to throw back to the left side, and nothing's home. So the score will stay put at 6 to 0. Under a minute to play here in the first quarter, your score will be very central 6, West Monona 0. I'd like to thank you again for joining our broadcast tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, receive broadcast notifications in the near future. That drive was sparked by Maker's complete pass, number three, Bo Klingensmith, as he took the ball all the way inside the 10-yard line. And one play later, that sets up a touchdown run for Jace Manker. And we'll see how West Monona can respond to the Wildcats' touchdown as Henry Monk is about to tee things off for the Wildcats. That's number eight, White, to field it. He's going to come around to the near side. He's across the 20, the 25, 30, and he's brought down from behind around the 35-yard line. As that's number eight again, Arian White, showing a flash of speed on that return and solid field position for the Spartans to begin this drive with just 28 seconds to go here in the first quarter.
So it's first and 10 Spartans from the 38. Wiggs, it's a jailbreak screen, nothing's there. As he was looking in the direction of number two, Brad Bellis. He got ran into it by a Wildcat defender. Nothing's home, that brings up a second and 10. Second time tonight, they've tried setting up that jailbreak screen, but nothing's there. Trips to the near side for Wiggs. And the pistol. Wiggs hands it off, and he's not going anywhere. That's number one, Micah Farns. No gain on the play. That will bring up third and ten Spartans, as that will likely bring this first quarter to a close. And that will bring the first quarter to a close. Your score, Woodbury Central 6, West Monona 0. We'll step aside for a moment, and we'll be back shortly. I'd like to apologize just a little bit of a technical difficulty to catch you up on the action. West Monona failed to convert on that 39 opportunity in their own territory, forcing a, another punt for the Spartan offense. And Woodbury Central currently with a first down opportunity on their own 29 yard line as Max McGill, the previous ball carrier on that last play. First and 10 Wildcats. Manker gonna fake, Manker gonna go deep. He's got his man out there, that's Klingit Smith. He's got it. Nothing but green grass in front of him. That's number three, Bo Klingit Smith. That's gonna be a 71 yard touchdown for the Wildcats as they extend their lead to 12 to zero. Great pass from Manker. Looked like it could have been trouble. But Klingon Smith stayed with it, and he puts another touchdown on the board for the Wildcats. A 71-yard connection from Manker to Klingon Smith. Just a spark the Wildcats needed in the pass game as they now lead 12-0. PAT is up and it is good. With 10.30 to play in the second quarter, your score, Woodbury Central 13, West Monona 0.
Wildcats sputtered a little bit in the first quarter on the offensive side, but the last two series have resulted in touchdowns. That last one just took a few plays to find the end zone thanks to a nice pass from Manker to Klingensmith. And number one, Henry Monk to kick off. So that's number eight, White. Slips and falls at the 12-yard line, and he'll be down right there. Just a little bit of a stumble like that will cost the Spartans some field position as they'll be starting from their own 12-yard line. First and 10 West Monona from their own 13. Flag on the play as that play is not going anywhere. We'll check the penalty marker. And we're going to get an illegal shift on the Spartans. That'll push them back inside their own 10 yard line. Not what West Monona needed to start this possession as they find themselves behind by two touchdowns. It looks like we'll have our first time out of the half taken by West Monona with 10.20 to play in the second quarter as they trail 13-0. And a penalty that has pushed them inside their own 10-yard line, not where they want to be against this Wildcat defense. Back out onto the field come the Spartans as they find themselves facing first and 15 from their own nine-yard line. Receiver split out wide. Looking to pass. In trouble with number nine, Johnny Fester. And he's not going to gain much. Looks like we saw a little bit of a quarterback change. Number nine, Johnny Fester in that play. Loss of one yard on that play. That'll bring up second and 16 for the Spartans. It's Fester still in there at quarterback. He's going to take it himself and plow forward for a gain of a few. But nonetheless, that still brings up a third and long for West Monona. A common theme so far for their offense tonight. Tackle made by number 59, Ty Dennison, on the play. Third and 12 for the Spartans. They're going to need to get to the 24-yard line to move the chains. Let's see if they can put something through the air. Try to get a lot of motion going, but nothing results from it as there's no gain on the play, and that will bring up a punting situation for West Monona. A stumble on that last kick return. 
And a penalty pins the Spartans inside their own 10-yard line, and they'll be punting from their own end zone. Standing at around midfield for the returners, number three, Bo Klingensmith. Number 22, Brady Wiggs on the punt. Wiggs gets a snap. It's a low line drive. Going to take a little bit of a West Monona bounce inside the 45. And they down it at the 43, which is where the Wildcats will take over on their next possession. With 8.06 remaining here in the first half, your score, Woodbury Central 13, West Monona 0. It's number three, Klingon Smith in motion. They hand it to him on the jet sweep. He's got some blockers. He's in the West Monona territory across the 40, and he's drug out of bounds at the 33 yard line. It'll be a gain of about 25 yards on the play as Klingon Smith is responsible for that last 71 yard touchdown catch. First and 10 Wildcats from the 33. Trips formation to the far side for the Wildcats. Manker gets a snap. He's going to hand it to McGill up the middle, and McGill powers his way down inside the 25-yard uh, 25 25-yard line to the 22. And that should be good enough for another Wildcat first down, and it is. First and 10 Wildcats on the 21-yard line. Two plays into this drive. Wildcats accumulating over 30 yards. They're near the red zone. Manker going to keep. Manker's inside the 20. He gets to the outside. He's to the 10. He's to the 5-yard line and hit hard. You do have a flag on the play. It might be a holding on the perimeter. And we'll check it out. Wildcats. And it is a hold on the Wildcats. As that erases a nice run from Manker, the quarterback. A 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. That will bring the ball back to the 24 yard line. Looks to be a first and 12 Wildcats. Caleb Blyle in motion. They hit it to him on the jet sweep. Blyle around the outside. He's across the 20. Across the 15. Still on his feet, and he's brought down. Not after he gains the first down. So that was Cardo Blyle on the carry. Brings up a first and 10 from just outside the 10 yard line. Here he is in motion again. They hand off to McGill up the middle. And McGill is going to walk his way into the end zone, almost untouched. Touchdown, Wildcats. As it looks like they have found their groove offensively here lately, McGill extends the lead to 19 0. And they'll bring in Monk for the PAT. Henry Monk on for the PAT. It's a low line drive, but it sneaks its way through. With that extra point, that makes the score here in Moville. Woodbury Central 20, West Monona 0. 6.46 remaining in the first half. As Max McGill punches his way in the end zone for his first score tonight.
After a slow start offensively, Wildcats have put up 20 points here in the last about seven minutes of game time. As they have found their groove offensively, number one, Monk, on to tee it off. And this is towards the corner, fielded by number eight, Arian White. He's across the 15, finding his blocks, past the 20 to the 25, bounces his way out to the 30, and is wrestled down just shy of the 35-yard line. White, a 5'7 sophomore, showing off his speed there as the Spartans will begin their drive at the 34. Number nine, Johnny Fester back to take the snaps. He's looking to throw, and that pass is caught. That's number 27, Danny Kamarik. Out close to the 40 yard line. They'll bring up second and six Spartans. We saw number 22, Brady Wiggs, earlier tonight at quarterback taking the snaps. He has moved to the backfield, and Fester, number nine has received the last few snaps for West Monona. In the pistol now, Wiggs motions out. Here's Fester, he's gonna take it himself, and he moves the pile for a few yards. They'll bring up third and about two. As we've seen a lot of those quarterback design runs tonight. The Woodbury Central defensive line has held their edge. And kept everything in front of them. That brings up third and two. West Manola from the 43. Fester in the pistol again. Wiggs motions out. Fester gets a snap, looking to throw. He's going to swing it out to Wiggs. He makes the catch. He's got a first down out towards midfield. And a much needed first down for the Spartans as they attempt to close the gap a little bit before halftime here. New set of downs at midfield for the Spartans. Here's Fester again, rolling to his right. Now he fires, and his defender fell down. And that pass is almost intercepted. That was number 21, Bracket Lock. Had a chance on that play, and that'll bring up second and 10 Spartans. Trips to the left side for West Monona. Fester going to take it himself up the middle. So we've seen that plenty of times tonight, but he doesn't gain much, maybe a yard or two. Tackle made by number 57, Gage Heisel. And he'll bring up a third and long. About nine yards for the Spartans. Trips again to the far side in the pistol is Wiggs. They pitch it to him and he's not going anywhere. That ball is loose. It's on the ground. And we'll see who got on top of it. Looked like the Spartans were able to pounce back on top of it. Fortunately for them, and he'll bring up a fourth and long.
Wiggs barely had a chance to corral that ball as he was hit right away on the pitch from Fester. That's going to bring up a fourth and 13. Back deep to return for the Wildcats is Bo Klingensmith. He's standing around his 20 yard line. Fester on to punt. Be his first punt of the night. It's a low snap. Able to corral it. It's Klingensmith on the run. Fields it. He's got some room in front of him and he slips and falls at the 40 yard line. Would have been interesting to see him have a chance to break that loose as he fielded it on the run. Return of 12 yards for Clinton Smith, and the Wildcats will begin their drive around the 40-yard line. 4:09 to play in the first half. 20 to nothing. Woodbury Central leads West Monona. Out comes the Wildcats offense who scored a touchdown on their last three drives. Menker, play action. It's going to go deep. He's got a man out there. That's Blyle. Caleb Blyle, and he can't hang on to the pass. Had it on his fingertips around the 20-yard line. Number six, Carter Blyle. Couldn't quite hang on. Quarterback Jace Menker been trying to utilize that speed all night. Down the seam looking for Klingon Smith and Blyle. Two receivers to each side. McGill to the right of Menker. Menker gets a snap. He's going to fake it. Now he pitches to McGill. McGill to the 40. McGill to midfield. He's got a first down. Lowers a shoulder. Still on his feet. He's to the 42-yard line. Strong run from number 34 at Max McGill. That'll be a gain of 18 yards. And good enough for a Wildcat first down as we are under four minutes in the second quarter. Trips to the far side for the Wildcats. McGill again to the right of Manker. Going to get handed off to him, and he's not going anywhere this time as the Spartans stand him up. Tackle made by number 52, Devin Monahan. 5'10 junior. Second and 10 Wildcats. As we approach three minutes remaining here in the first half. Manker going to throw a screen to Caleb Blyle, and that's blown up right away. Might have lost a yard on the play. He was unable to get help on the perimeter. And we'll see a third and long opportunity for Woodbury Central. Manker in the shotgun. Manker going to throw slant to Klingensmith. That's caught by number three, Klingensmith, and he is yanked down hard right around the sticks. He might have enough for a first down, and it is a first down. As a change will move with 2.06 remaining in the first half. Should be plenty of time for the Wildcats to potentially get some more points on the board. First and 10 from the West Monona, 32. In motion, that's Klingon Smith. He gets the carry, gets a block, and he's across the 30, across to the 25, down to about the 23. 
number 53, Eli Murray there on the tackle. And it'll be second and short, Woodbury Central. As we approach, one minute and 30 seconds left in the first half. Two receivers to each side. Here's Carter Blyle in motion. They fake it to him. Manker looking over the middle. He's got a man open and incomplete as him and Klingon Smith were not on the same page. He had green grass in front of him that could have put another touchdown on the board. With that incomplete pass, that brings up third and one, Woodbury Central. <laughs> Trips to the far side. McGill to the left of Manker. They'll hand it off to him, and he won't pick up the first down as he was met at the 25-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and two, and the Wildcats will take a timeout and stop the clock at 1.06 remaining in the first half. We've seen the Wildcats get in the end zone on their last three offensive series. They'll try to make it four in a row here on this fourth and two opportunity from the West Monona 25 yard line. It'll be fourth and about three. 106 remaining in the first half. Here's McGill to the right of Manker on this fourth down opportunity. Manker wants to throw over the middle. He's got Schmidt. He hangs on to the ball, and he's inside the five-yard line. Did a good job to hang on to that one. That's number 14, Kane Schmidt. First down, Wildcats. First and goal, rather, from the three-yard line. With 60 seconds to go here in the first half. Wildcats with two timeouts remaining in their back pocket if they need them. They spread it out. Might try and find McGill go up the middle here. They're going to go in on the option. They pitch it to him, and McGill is in for a touchdown. Fourth straight offensive series that results in a touchdown for the Wildcats as they extend their lead to 26-0. To McGill's second rushing touchdown of the evening. That one from three yards out. Henry Monk on for the PAT. The hold is down. The kick is up. It's good. No good. Monk's PAT no good with 41 seconds to go. In the first half, your score, Woodbury Central 26, West Monona 0. Cheerleaders might be getting a workout tonight if the Wildcats can keep up this offensive firepower. Four straight possessions that have resulted in touchdowns as they get ready to kick off to West Monona. 
Number eight, Arian White, once again, back to return, along with number two, Brad Bellis. They're going to kick it in the direction of White. He fields it from the 15, he's to the 20, trying to follow his blocks. He bounces it to the outside across the 25, and he's around the 30-yard line. Thirty-two seconds to play in the first half. We'll see if West Monona is just content with headed into halftime or if they try to make something happen here. But nothing's been working in their favor tonight. Thanks to a stifling defense from Woodbury Central. They mark the ball right at the 30-yard line. It's first and 10, West Monona. Looks like that's Wiggs. Let's get the shotgun snap. He's going to throw. And that pass is intercepted. That pass is intercepted and returns to the 17-yard line. That's picked off by number 57, Gage Heisel. As he stepped in front of that flat route. And that gives Woodbury Central some time with 25 seconds left to possibly find the end zone again and extend their lead. Second turnover on the night for the Spartans. Gives Woodbury Central very short field as they begin this drive inside the red zone. 25 seconds to play until halftime. First and 10 Wildcats from the 17 yard line. Here's Manker. He's looking to throw. Fade route to Schmidt in the corner of the end zone. He goes up. He catches it. Did he get a foot down? And they're going to say he did. It's another Woodbury Central touchdown. That's a six foot four senior, Kane Schmidt on a 17-yard touchdown. Big play by number 57, Heisel, to give the Wildcats an opportunity there on offense before halftime as Monk on for the PAT. It is up and it is good. And that will extend the Wildcat lead to 33-0 to with 19 seconds to play in the first half. Wildcats have put up 27 points in the second quarter alone after a bit of a slow start to the first quarter. And they have put a lot of distance between themselves and the Spartans late in the second quarter as Monk is going to do an onside kick here. And that ball might have been touched. We'll see who can get on top of it. It looks like Woodbury Central got it, and they did at the 31-yard line. Looked like an aggressive onside kick there from Monk. Deflected off of a Spartan defender. And yet again, the Wildcats going to get the ball here before halftime. And the Spartans will call another timeout.
We'll step away for a moment. 33-0, to zero, your score, Woodbury Central on top. 19 seconds to go in the first half. Yet again, the Wildcats have an opportunity to score here before the half as they currently lead 33-0. Ball on the West Monona 31. Let's see if they take some shots to the end zone. Pass is thrown, intended for Blyle. He's got it out there inside the five. He stretches and he's down at about the one-yard line. That's number seven, Carter Blyle. And the Wildcats will take their second timeout of the half as Blyle was just short of finding the end zone. Wildcats been coming up with some big plays in the past game, most notably here in the second quarter, as Menker has found a variety of receivers, whether it's Blyle, Schmidt, or Klingensmith. Due to some costly mistakes for the Spartans, they've given the Wildcats some additional opportunities here to almost put this game away at halftime. 12 and a half seconds remaining in the second quarter as the Wildcats offense comes back trotting out onto the field. Just inches short of the goal line. Let's see if they use the big back, number 34, McGill, to punch this thing in. He's to the left. Going to throw and a lot of grabbing of the jersey and the flag comes out as Manker's pass is incomplete. And this will be a penalty a half the distance to the goal but not sure how much closer you can get to the goal line and this ball almost touching the goal line with nine seconds remaining in quarter number two Trips to the far side for Manker and McGill to his right. Manker gets a snap. Hands it to McGill and he is in for the third time tonight. Touchdown, Wildcats. As they continue to pull away. Henry Monk on again to attempt the PAT. Maker gets a snap. It's a fake. Maker throws. That's Klingon Smith. Did he get in? And he did get in for the two point conversion. And that makes the score 41 to 0 with just six seconds remaining. And it looks like Clayton Smith may be down as he slipped and fell right around the pylon.
Clean Smith looks to be okay. Made several big plays on the offensive side of the ball tonight. That 71-yard touchdown reception back early in the second quarter. And has shown his speed at times around the perimeter. Monk ready to kick off. And it's a similar kick to what happened last time as it takes a bounce and is fielded by number 22, Brady Wiggs. He steps out at the 36. Just five seconds remaining till halftime and should just see a conservative play call here to head to the locker room. Wiggs in the pistol. He's going to get it and hand it off. That's number one. Micah Farns, the ball carrier, gets slammed down after a gain of three yards. And that will bring the first half to a close. Your score at Woodbury Central, 41, West Monona, zero. We'll step aside for a while. As the second half will begin in about 15 minutes, you are watching Fuller Digital Solutions and Woodbury Central Football. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Woodbury Central Marching Wildcats to the field. <laughs> this year's production is entitled A Brave New World and features original music by Luke McMillan and selections from the New World Symphony by Antonin Devorak. Majors, Azaria Meals and Sydney Thickbaum. Is the band ready?
are withdrawn in anxiety and panic? Or shall we seize the courage necessary to preserve our awareness and responsibility in the face of radical change? We are called upon to do something new, to confront a brave new world. Woodbury Central Marching Wildcats. Tomorrow, the band will travel to Orange City to compete in the Dutch Midfield Championships. Last year, the band received best horn line at this competition, and they are striving for some repeat honors. Please come and join them tomorrow at the Dutch Midfield Championships.
And welcome back. We're just about ready to get the second half underway here in Moville as the Wildcats lead West Monona 41-0. Wildcats will be receiving the ball to start the second half. Back deep to return is number three, Bo Klingensmith, and they go with an onside kick, but it doesn't go 10 yards. There's a fight for the ball. The onside kick did not go 10 yards. Could be a penalty on the Spartans. Looked like a Wildcat defender tried to pounce on it. We've got a little bit of confusion here on the field. It will be first and 10 Wildcats. So the onside kick does not pay off for West Monona, and the Wildcats will once again start off in West Monona territory at the 47-yard line. Out at quarterback, it's still number four, Jace Manker. Kling and Smith in motion. They fake it to him and get it to McGill up the middle, and McGill's got room to run. He lowers his shoulder, still on his feet, breaks a tackle, and he's all the way down near the 20-yard line. Big gain on the first play of this half. As McGill is showing off his toughness tonight. First and 10 Wildcats in the Spartan 21. That's a gain of 26 yards on the carry for McGill as he's had a solid night. And the Wildcats looking to, looking to cash in yet again. McGill to the left of Manker. Throws it out to Schmidt. Gets a block, and he's to about the 15-yard line as he carries a couple defenders down that way. Number 22, Brady Wiggs on the tackle. Gain of eight yards, that brings up a second and two Wildcats from the 13. Schmidt all by himself, out to the near side. Manker's going to keep after he faked to McGill, and Manker just throws it away. After he faced Brady Wiggs again. That'll bring up third and two Wildcats. With the clock rolling. Continuously due to the 35 point differential on the scoreboard. Just a little over 10 minutes to play in the third quarter. It's third and two Wildcats from the 13. Maker in the gun with McGill. They toss it to McGill. McGill's inside the 10 and he's shoved out of bounds. And that should be good enough for a first down. First down, Woodbury Central. First and goal from the five-yard line. That McGill run will bring up first and goal Wildcats from the five. Same formation we've seen plenty of times tonight. It's McGill to the right of Manker. Manker wants to throw. Got a slant route. Wide open. Kane Schmidt. That's a Wildcat touchdown. Second touchdown reception tonight for Schmidt. As he extends the Wildcat lead. Found himself wide open on the backside slant. As he uses his 6-4 frame to haul that one in. And it's Henry Monk on for the PAT. Snaps down, the kick is up, and it is... Good as the Wildcats extend their lead. They now lead the Spartans 48 to 0. 9.27 remaining in the third quarter. You're watching Woodbury Central Football on Fuller Digital Solutions. Ball, eight, to the Spartan, right, 
and Dallas. Henry Monk on to tee this thing off again tonight. He's been busy back there thanks to all the Wildcat touchdowns. Deep to return for West Monona is number eight, Arian White. And they kick it to him yet again. He's going to field it from about the 15-yard line. He's across the 20. And makes his way out to about the 27-yard line before he's taken down by number 50, Charlie Porkinghorn. First and 10 Spartans, and we'll see if they can put any points on the board in this second half as it went scoreless in half number one. It's Wiggs back in there to take the snap out of the pistol. He takes it right up the middle, and he pushes the pile. Still going around the 40-yard line. That's going to be a gain of about 15 yards. And good enough for a Spartan first down. <laughs> we see number 22, Brady Wiggs, and number 9, Johnny Fesser, both take snaps at quarterback tonight. Trying to keep the Wildcats off balance. It's going to be Wiggs again in the pistol. They hand it off in a sweep. And he's got some room to run. That's number 27, Danny Komarek. He's inside the Wildcat 45-yard line. Good enough for another West Monona first down. Probably two of the best plays tonight so far for the West Monona offense. It's just been tough sledding against the Wildcat front seven. First and 10 Spartans. They head off to White on the sweep, and White's not getting anywhere. Maybe a yard on the play. Tackle made by number seven, Caleb Lyle. The gain of one yard brings up second and nine, West Monona. Same formation again. Wiggs gets a snap. It's a low one. He's got to improvise himself, and he is trying to make something out of nothing. Does an incredible job to find some grass and keep going. He's across the 40-yard line and down at about the 36-yard line. What looked like a disastrous play was turned into a positive gain of about six yards. That run from Wiggs will bring up a third and three from the 37 as we approach six minutes to play here in quarter number three. It's Wiggs in the pistol again. He's going to look to throw now. Rolling to his right. He's going to fire deep towards the end zone. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and that pass is caught by number two, Brad Bellis. That's good enough for a West Monona touchdown. An impressive 37-yard throw from Brady Wiggs puts the Spartans on the board tonight. One-on-one -on -one coverage deep in the end zone, and Bellis just went up and brought that thing down. The 6-1 junior. And the Spartans are lining up to go for two. It's Wiggs to get the snap. He's going to hand it off. That's number one, Farns. 
And Farns looks to be short of the goal line. And that'll keep the score at 48 to six in favor of Woodbury Central. 5.43 to play in quarter number three. We'll see if the Spartans get aggressive here, as they did on their last kick, attempting an onside kick. This is Wiggs to kick off. And it's a very short kick, fielded at the 34, and brought down right away it is number 22, Kyan Schultzen. And the Wildcats begin their next series at the 34. We've got an official's timeout. We'll step aside for just a moment. We'll be right back on Fuller Digital Solutions. You're listening to Woodbury Central. Wildcats about to begin their second series on offense in this half. With 5.07 remaining in the third quarter. It's Jace Manker still out there at quarterback. He gets a snap. He's going to pitch it. Running across the 35, across the 40. Ball by Trevor Davis. That's number 28, Trevor Davis, Davis the ball carrier. Davis, a 5'10 senior. Gained six yards on that carry. That brings up second and four. Manker gets a snap. He's going to hand it off to Davis again. And this time, he's brought down right at the line of scrimmage. And he's met by number 52, Devin Monahan. And number 65, Miga Iska Kalskato. It's a third and manageable here for Woodbury Central. Trips to the far side for the Wildcats. Manker's going to hand off. That's Davis again, and he fights his way forward to about the 44 yard line. And it looks like it's going to be a couple yards shy of the first down, and the Wildcats will send out the punting unit. 
On to punt number three, Bo Klingensmith. And back deep to return number two, Brad Bellis. It's high, deep kick. Bellis calls for a fair catch and is hit at the 20-yard line by Carter Blyle, and that's going to add on some yardage. After that late hit on that fair catch called by Bellis, moves the ball to the 25-yard line. On the, line. on the jet sweep, that's White. He's across the 30, tries to get a block, and he's brought down at the 34. He's brought down by number three, Bo Klingensmith, after a gain of about eight or nine yards. Brings up second and two. It's still number 22, Brady Wiggs, in at quarterback. Gets a snap and hands off. That's number 27, Komarek. He is right at the sticks. He might have enough for a first down. Going to mark him just inches shy of the first down. It brings up third and very short for West Monona. Brings up third and extremely short. Spartans taking a while to get the call in on offense as Wiggs comes trotting back into the huddle. They got 10 seconds on the play clock. Down to four seconds. Wiggs gets a snap. He's going to go right up the middle. A common theme for him tonight. And he didn't gain much, but he didn't need much for the first down anyway. And it is good enough for a first down. One fifteen to play here in the third quarter, 48-6. to six. Woodbury Central leads West Monona. First and 10 from their own 36. Wiggs fakes. He's going to throw. That's caught by Bellis, and he's not going anywhere. Might have gained a yard on the play. Looked like number 22, Kyan Schultz on Kyle Schultz on there for the stop. Second and nine Spartans from their own 37 as we are inside 30 seconds to play in this third quarter. Here's Wiggs in the pistol. He's going to go up the seam. He's got his man White that was open, but it's just a little bit too high out of his reach. Looked like a fake screen, and they slipped White out onto the seam route. And that will bring the third quarter to an end. Your score, Woodbury Central, 48. West Monona, 6. You're watching Woodbury Central football on Fuller Digital Solutions.
that that worked too. Getting ready to begin the fourth quarter here in Moville. It's third and nine for West Monona. And the handoff goes nowhere for Micah Farrens. Maybe a yard on the play. That'll bring up a fourth and eight for the Spartans. Inside their own 40-yard line, we'll see what they'll decide to do here late in the game, trailing by 42. going to come out with four receivers. Wiggs gets the shotgun snap. He's looking. Throws over the middle. That pass is short. And intended for number nine, Johnny Fester. Number three, Bo Klingensmith there on the coverage. And the Wildcats will take over inside West Monona territory. First and 10 Wildcats at the 39-yard line of the Spartans. Been a pretty steady attack tonight for the offense, especially in the second quarter. We saw a lot of scoring. And here's one of them that did score quite a bit. That's Klingon Smith on the jet sweep. Gains about a yard or two on the play. Tackle me by number 53, Eli Murray. Second and eight, West Monona. As we have hit the 10 minute mark here in the fourth quarter. A dominant performance tonight for the Wildcats in all three phases. As we see a new quarterback, number 15, Dallas Clunder in there to take snaps. He hands it off to Davis. Davis has a lot of room to run. Davis hits the outside, Davis. Is in. Touchdown, Wildcats. The 37-yard touchdown run for Trevor Davis. And the Wildcats continue to find the end zone. No chance to catch Davis after he hit that next level. Henry Monk in for the PAT. And the kick is good. That makes your score Woodbury Central 55, West Monona 6. 9.37 to play here in the game. Monk to kick off for the Wildcats. Back deep to return. Number eight, Arian White. And number two, Bellis, and they kick it in his direction. He fields it around the 10 yard line. Bellis looking for a couple blocks. He gets a couple and he's got green grass in front of him. He's got Monk to beat. And he spins out of a tackle, still on his feet inside the 30. And he is finally brought down 
right around the 20 yard line. An impressive return from number two, Brad Bellis. If it wasn't for the kicker, a monk, Bellis would have found the end zone. As Bellis carried defenders for about 10 yards to finish that run. That sets up West Monona to start this drive. Just a bit outside the red zone. With under nine minutes to play here in the fourth. Jet Sweet looking for some room to run. Not a whole lot. That's number seven. Grant Russell. Lost a little bit of yardage on that play. To bring up second and 11, West Monona. Brings up second and 10. Coming out to 21. Wig still in that quarterback in the pistol. In motion. He's going to keep it. Wig's going to keep it inside the 10 yard line. There is a flag on the play. So hold everything here. Flag on the play. Holding offense. We've got a hold on the offense. Should be a 10 yard penalty. And we're gonna get another penalty here. As some chirping was going on. It looked like the bench of West Monona. And it will be an unsportsmanlike call. So push him back even farther. And then I'll push the Spartans way back outside the 40 yard line as they call their timeout of the half. As if the holding call wasn't enough, Spartans are guilty of an unsportsmanlike call. Pushes them all the way back to their own 41, or check that, Woodbury Central's 41-yard line. Which brings them to a second and 31 yards. Wig's going to keep. Gets to the outside, across the 40, across the 35, to the 30. He's still on his feet. He makes a man miss and is brought down by the ankles inside the 25-yard line. So he makes up for most of those penalty yards. Brings up third and about 10 as they get back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 11 from the 21. Wiggs, busted play. He's going to make something happen on his own, and he's not going anywhere. He's brought down back at the 31-yard line, and that will force him into a very long fourth down opportunity. Big loss for the Spartans. Brings up fourth and about 20 yards. That last play, Wiggs couldn't find his back. Wiggs looking to pass. He's going to go deep, looking for Bellis. He goes up and it's incomplete. Jump ball falls incomplete around the five yard line. And it'll be a turnover on downs for the Spartans.
Wildcats take over on their own 30-yard line. As we have hit the six-minute mark in quarter number four. I'm out Wildcats. And the Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. And we'll take it with them. We'll be back in a couple minutes. First and 10 from the 30. Handoff here to Davis. And that ball is loose. And it is picked up by the Spartans. Number nine, Johnny Fester on the recovery. First turnover of the game for the Wildcats. First and 10 Spartans from the Wildcat 36. A little over five minutes to play here in the ball game. 55 to 6, your score. Woodbury Central on top. Here's Wiggs at quarterback. He's going to hand it off. Making something out of nothing. That's number 53. He runs over a defender. But we've got a flag on the play. Tough run by number 53, Eli Murray. Flag on the play. But we do have a flag on the play. This might be coming back. It is a hold on the Spartans. And this will push them back beyond the Woodbury Central 45 yard line. On the 46 yard line. Eli Murray using his six foot two twenty frame to run over that defender. Number eight, Arian White, goes out wide. Here's Wiggs gets a snap. He's looking to throw. That's caught by number two, Bellis, and he throws it behind himself. Threw a forward pass. Now they're going to say it was incomplete and they never had possession of the ball. Odd looking play there. And that will bring up second and 20. We'll see a new offense take the field here for the Spartans. Run up the middle. And off to number one. Not going a whole lot of places. That's Micah Farns, the ball carrier. Gained maybe a yard on the play. 
So it will be third and 19 for the Spartans. Number 21, the freshman, Lakin Bellis, in that quarterback. As Farns heads to the sidelines. Bad snap. It is scooped up. That's number 51, Chase Copeland, and he's going to take it back for six points. Bad snap for the Spartans. And Copeland, a big man's dream, finding the end zone. And we've got multiple flags after the play. Number 21, Lakin Bellis, barely had time to think about that play. Was hit right away as he caught the ball. Touchdown, Wildcats. Once again, that was number 51, Chase Copeland, scooping up the live ball and taking it back for six. First McCall. Looks like we also had offsetting penalties on both teams. Dead ball personal fouls. And it's Monk in again for the extra point. Going to take a little bit of a pause here as we have an official's timeout. Possibly discussing that last play and what occurred. <laughs> Looked like there was extracurricular activity after the touchdown was scored on both teams. The officials will try and settle it here before this PAT from Monk. Monk ready for the PAT, and it's a fake, and they'll throw it in the back of the end zone. And a two-point conversion is good. With that conversion, that makes your score Woodbury Central 63, West Monona 6, 2.56 to play in the ballgame. Monk getting ready to kick off, back deep to return. 
Looks like number one, Micah Farns. As Monk sends this one away. Field on a bit of a hop. Picked up around the 10-yard line. Bringing it out past the 30. Staying on his feet. Close to the 40-yard line is number 55, Cole Halverson. Tackle made by number 12, Braden Coulter. That brings up first and 10 Spartans from their own 40 yard line. In at quarterback again, number 21, Lakin Bellis. As we approach two minutes to play here in this final quarter. Five on the play clock. Bellis gets a snap. He hands it off. And there is no room to run. <laughs> that looks like number 50, Charlie Polkinghorn on the stop. It's a loss of about four yards on the play. Brings up a second and 14 for the Spartans. Looks like West Monona just chewing some clock here. We're down to a minute 10 remaining in the fourth as the clock continues. Bellis gets a snap. They try and sweep it to the outside and nothing's available again as the Wildcats rally well to the ball. Just 45 seconds to play here in the fourth as we might only see another play or two and that'll end this game. Third and 16 Spartans from their own 33. It looks like the Spartans don't necessarily have to snap it one more time before the play clock expires, but it looks like they might. Bellis gets a snap. He's going to carry. He's going to work as best as he can for a gain of about three yards. And that'll bring this game... To a close, your final score, Woodbury Central 63, West Monona 6. A game dominated in all three facets by the Wildcats, most notably in the third quarter. When they put up 35 points to take a 41-0 lead going into the locker room. And they continue to score in the second half. As the Wildcats end their season... With a four and three record, three and two in district play, and the Spartans fall to three and four to close out the regular season. They fall to two and three in district play. Like we said, some fireworks from the second quarter resulted in a big lead for the Wildcats, which resulted in a running clock for the second half. As the Wildcats will wait for their next opponent in the first round of the playoffs. Once again, your final score tonight, Woodbury Central 63, West Monona 6. We'd like to thank you for watching Fuller Digital Solutions, production of Woodbury Central Football. Good night from Moville.